Hi, I'm Vince Taranjo. I'm a software engineer at uh, Autodesk. Um, I, I thought I'd show you this, this nifty little trick for um, basically doing type safe dictionaries in C++. So, what you do, whoops, oh geez. Um, let's see here. Okay, oh, and then I selected stuff. This is, okay, so let's, this is pretty loosey-goosey because I wrote it like half an hour ago, but um, let's alias, uh, let's say a dictionary is a map from std type index to std any. Um, type index is basically a way, a way to encode uh, type ID in a ha like a nice storable, hashable thing, and so you can use it as a, as a key type. Um, and uh, we'll define a key as a little, t it's, a, it's an empty struct, so it's a tag kind of thing, um, and we'll give it a class, uh, or it's, it's got two arguments. Uh, one is, let's call it name, and the other is like T, it's a, it's a type, it's the type that the key is associated with. And um, we'll, and this, I didn't, you know, you should do this as a, proper object and with the stuff, but I, I, you know, kind of doing it quickly here. So I wrote two functions here. One is called, oh, this is so much easier. Um, so there's a get function. Uh, maybe we just, uh, which, uh, well, let's start with set. So the set function, eek, um, takes your dictionary, takes a key, uh, which has, a, like, again, a name and a class associated with it, and then you also set a, uh, pass in a value uh, object. Um, and uh, I think this is completely unnecessary, but it, I was rushing quickly. Um, but anyways, okay, so we see if the value type is convertible to T. If it is, we, uh, we just start, we, we use this thing, this, this whole business. We get its type ID, which converts, and, and that's converted into a type index, and we use that as the key in the actual underlying map, and then we convert our value into a T, and we stuff that into the map. So now, um, so, uh, and then, um, so this, this ensures that some, only something that converts to a T is actually stored in there. And then our accessor is this function called get, um, that takes our dictionary, and takes a key, and returns an optional T, and we just find something with this type ID, or the, the, the you know, corresponding uh, type index. And if it's in there, we do an anycast to a T and, uh, of, of the value. And we know that, you know, assume, like if this was a proper object and everything, or proper, uh, we'd know that there's no way to put anything in here that uh, isn't a T, so this is a totally safe cast. Um, and uh, then if we want to use this, so okay, so a person here. So this is a little dictionary for defining a person. And um, so here's how you use it. You have a key and you just, the, the name for the key is just something, like it, this struct doesn't actually have to be defined anywhere in the universe, but it's just like, it's, it's a type that's gonna be uh, unique to this thing. And then here's your value type. So age is, is sort of as an int, uh, gender, is a pair of floats, because let's, you know, be open, so I'm not gonna tell you what, anyways. You know, maybe between zero and one, who knows? It's anyways, um, and, uh, and the name is a string. And so, and then you create some actually, you know, nice instance of the, instances of these variables that, that are, yeah, the things. And when you actually, so let's create a person dictionary. We can set the person's name to Florb, as is traditional. Um, and their age is 29, and their gender is right in the middle for both. And then when we, uh, then we can use AAA style coding to get the values back. Uh, so we just, we pass in, you know, our dictionary, get age. That's in A, we pass, you know, get the gender in G and the, uh, the person, uh, their name in N. And there you go, uh, we, if these are all valid, um, which they will be, I ran this on my computer, this is just a text file, so I don't think I can run it. Um, it prints out the things, and when I ran this file, it printed out the things. Uh, this is really useful. That's, that's all I really have. <laughs>